Rise up on your feet. Ah, hello, you. Ah, hello, you, Madonna. Ah, Madonna telling me that as we begin to pray many of you will activate the ministry of angels in your life many of you have not really enjoyed the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits sent to minister let me give you three testimonies quickly are you listening to me My first major encounter with the physical man, I'm not talking of angels in the spirit now. I was in Mararaba and we entered a bus. It was me and Manasseh. And I left my wallet in the bus and I came down. And now it was a busy market and everybody just left. And Manasseh took a bike to follow them. I left it. We all saw it inside. And when I just stood there, I wasn't praying. And the next thing I saw a man limping with my wallet. He came to me. He said, take. Literally. Literally. Hallelujah. We went for crusade in Panshin 2006 or 7. As soon as we went to the venue, a man walked up to me and said, go around the city publicizing. Just use a loudspeaker. Go around the city. And I, I, I saw him walking and I turned to do something. And when I turned back, I did not see him again. Don't you think everybody in this auditorium is a human being? You will be misled. There are times that I preach and I see that some of the people sitting inside and outside are angels. The moment I see them in the spirit, they stand up and they walk away. It's just that we don't share experiences. I'm telling you, the Bible says he are common to Mount Zion. Some of you finish koinonia and someone just holds your hands. The Bible says be good to all men for in this some of you have entertained angels unaware. You have entered buses with them from CGC down to Northgate. You gisted with them. From the day you met them, something happened to you in the night. You could not explain. You saw some faces in Koinonia you have never seen again. You came late and you wanted to leave. You know that all the ushers were inside. Suddenly you saw another usher telling you, why don't you come and sit down? And they gather all the ushers. You cannot see the person again. Many of us have not activated ourselves in the place of prayer to begin to respond. Kenneth E. Hagin walked in a realm where he enjoyed the ministry of angels. They would come in his meeting and he would look at them. And say, hi, how are you? And call their names. Do you know that one angel destroyed an entire battalion of armies? One and there are all kinds of angels there are ministering spirits there is the northern army of the lord who will take time in a prayer series if we take it again and will teach on angels he said oh daniel 
from the first day that you did set your face to pray he said your request was heard and while he was coming he was interrupted in the second heavens because the prince the spiritual wickedness that governs the territory of Pasha stopped him and because it was not in the office of Gabriel to fight he could not do anything until Michael the archangel came to the rescue and he said I am come to bring the understanding every time there are shiftings in the spirit Satan does not understand timings but he can see an unusual manifestation of the angelic and he knows that angels respond to the pleadings of the Lord especially when messenger angels begin to come they come into your life when seasons are shifting when Gabriel came to Mary it was a season in her life when he came to Zechariah, he said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of the Lord. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, tonight I activate the ministry of angels. Lift your voice and pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the angels of the Lord, Basata Bakata, Randa Barekebos, Mamprateke the angel of the Lord and come them that fear him. I activate the ministry of angels. I activate the ministry of angels. Angels of finances. Miracle angels. Breakthrough angels. Worship angels. To bring songs. To bring skills. Angels of understanding. The northern army of the Lord the ministering spirits hallelujah listen hallelujah hear me if you're a minister of the gospel here let me teach you a secret have you ever had people pray a prayer and say i position the angels of my anointing have you ever had such prayers one scripture turn with me to revelations one Thank you for lifting, thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Let me show you a powerful mystery. The Bible says in Psalm 103 that the angels of God who excel in strength. Who confirms the words of his messengers. Quickly. Revelations 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him. So God gave him a ministry. Was the ministry. To show, to reveal unto his servants. Things which must surely come to pass. Listen. And he sent and signified it. By what? He said his angel. The angel of the one who the message was given to that means an angel was sent every time God gives you a message every time God gives you a teaching there are angels that are sent with that revelation the job of those angels is to stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost to ensure that the words gain performance in your life and so they stop the cohorts of darkness that will want to come and steal the seed of God's word in you that's why some of you, while you are listening, you want to get up and go out. Suddenly you find out that something will keep you back. The angels. The angels of the Lord. And then while sitting, a revelation will hit your spirit. And that ends it. Or a word of knowledge is about to be given to you. And demons want to distract you. As soon as you go out, you will see your friend coming. And he will just drag you. Or you will stand and literally feel a resistance. are going to pray and say Lord there are angels you have assigned to my life to my destiny to my ministry Lord I pray right now may they be activated to the fullness of their ministry go ahead and pray William Brown had an angel that would come to give him uncommon insight and understanding are you praying 
Randa proska baji dema. Zata kata balaraba. Rakata bakata balaraba. Lord, we activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. We activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. Angels that follow this ministry, we activate you. The angels assigned to Koinonia, we activate you to bring healing, to bring breakthrough, to bring prosperity in the name of Jesus. The angel that follow everyone in Koinonia, let them be activated. Please pray over your family. There are angels. Declare and say, let there be the activity of angels in my family, bringing finances, bringing healing. Angels of revelation and understanding Angels of worship. The Northern Army. Rapashata Katabalaraba. Rapata Katabrakatabalaraba. The angels of the Lord that excel in strength. We permit your ministry in Koinonia. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. Breakthrough, healing, deliverance. Cause testimonies to abound. Let lives be changed. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Sing it with all your heart. My glory. The lifter up of my head, but Thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory. You're the lifter up of my head. Say thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. That's what has happened to you. Thank you for lifting. I want to pray that an impartation of the Spirit will come upon you. Hallelujah. I tell you, the angels, listen, the angels in this place are more than the people here. Hallelujah. I will pray. Expect something to happen to you. Expect fire. Expect an anointing because I see the fire of the Lord upon my hand. That's what I see the fire of the Lord, and He tells me, Release it. And so I release it right now. Now let it move across my left and my right by the ministry of the angelic. Now, all over the building, move now, power of God. Let there be an activity of the angelic right now across the building by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Stay anointing. Stay gifting. Feel your work. Shake it. Shake it, shake it. Side of the congregation, lift your hands. I stretch my hands. Let the fire come upon you now. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Shake it, take a second. Angels of the Lord, move and put the crowns that you show me upon the heads of men. Crowns, crowns, crowns. The Lord shows me crowns. Upon the hands of men. Everything that
that has li limited you in the name that is above all names I command that limitation to disappear from your life forever I need you to shout your amen like you believe it I command every infirmity that is in your body I curse it from its root be free from it now in the name of Jesus everyone marked for death here whether by sickness by the sword by accident I lift that ban over your life in the name of Jesus. I command the fountains of favor to break open in your life right now. Receive favor, financial favor, favor of destiny help us in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that any habit and any lifestyle that has challenged you that you are tired of let it fall from your life now in the name of Jesus hallelujah every tongue that rises up against you I command right now the Bible says in Job 5, He said He will deliver you from the scorching tongues of men. I command that every tongue that rises up against you will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. I command the Lord to judge evil doers in your life. In the name of Jesus. Every level you would have been right now, that Satan stopped you from coming right now by the power, the spirit that came upon Elijah that caused him to run. I invoke from the realm of the spirit. Let there be acceleration to your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every dead prayer life in this place, five minutes prayer minutes prayer I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus every appetite and loss for sin loss for evil loss for immorality whether it be money ladies men whatever I cause it in the name of Jesus The grace to live a life of true holiness and righteousness. The grace to say no to everything that is not consistent with God's word. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. Every kind of addiction in this place, whether it's drinking, womanizing, falsehood, whatever it is, you are free from it right now and forever. I release angelic encounters in your life. You will see them in your dreams. They will give you direction. They will tell you secrets. They will show you mysteries about the world. Mysteries about your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you. That as you walk out of this place tonight. You become a literal manifestation. Of signs and wonders. Go and do the things that you could not do. 
Go and lay hands on the sick and watch them recover. Go and cast out devils. Go and win souls. People who you are priest to that refuse to get born again, go back again with this anointing and you will win them over. Your family members, no matter how hardened they are, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are many of you who are timid. You have complex. You don't believe in yourself. Right now, in the name that is above every other name, you laugh, but you are suffering complex. You always think you will not amount to anything. Or you think, and it makes you always offensive at others. In the name that is above all names. For God has not given us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let inferiority and complex, the lies that Satan has spoken to you, that keeps you where you are, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Whatever testimony is still pending in your life, I pull it from the realm of the spirit and I release it to your life. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life and your destiny. No one will terminate your destiny in the name of Jesus. Every pronouncement that has been made upon your life, I declare, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, I command a new beginning for you. Those pronouncements come to null and void in the name of Jesus. Whatever mindset that Satan has used as a stronghold in your life that you don't want to let go but is stopping you from entering the blessings of God I shatter that stronghold in the name of Jesus for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ Go and enjoy the favor of the Lord. Go and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let the word of God come alive. Let there be unusual understanding. That right now as you study the word. Something will happen to your spirit man. Unusual insights. You will learn things you were not taught by anybody. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of revelation. The spirit of understanding. Let the bread of the spirit be broken. Let your eyes be opened. I take away the veil from your eyes. Grace to walk in obedience to God's word. <laughs>